Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Bushido Nuzlocke. This is part 19. In the last episode, we went ahead and won ourselves our good old final challenge against the final dojo, the Shimizu Dojo. We beat ourselves the good old water type team. We went ahead, after that, we went ahead and took our good old crocodile back out with us. And I suppose now we do technically have one final challenge left for us. I'm gonna make the comparison, I suppose, to the Elite Four right now, if that's what we're going to be doing, but we are going to go and fight the Aqui Clan members at their own dojo, I believe, after we go ahead and get an upgrade to Akatana so that we can go through the final area. So I believe we were going ahead and flying to Hagane City, and then we wanted to go to Jikan Shrine. Actually, is it quicker to get to it from Ezo Village? Maybe not. Either way, we'll go from Hagane City. We will go ahead and get to that final area. We will get our upgrade to clear the fog. So I'm assuming, you know, defog is pretty much what we're going to grab. And then we're going to make our way into enemy territory. And honestly, it's going to be interesting because every single Pokemon there could probably be a shadow Pokemon in my mind. I mean, like, they're in the fog, they're in their own clan. I imagine, like, every single member's going to have at least a shadow Pokemon. Uh, but we are going to stick to our rule of only grabbing one Shadow Pokemon per area, meaning, honestly, we probably aren't going to grab too many Shadow Pokemon, and I don't know if it's really worth grabbing them. It's probably worth throwing a Quick Ball or two at maybe some of them, if we feel like they aren't, you know, at risk of taking us out. But for the most part, we're probably just going to want to take them out and not risk losing our own Pokemon, because our Pokemon at the moment are honestly pretty good. We've managed to get through this Nuzlocke so far with very few deaths, and I would like to keep it that way without trying to catch random Shadow Pokemon, so we'll see how it goes. But for now, uh, hi. Hello, Carlos. The Shogun told me to meet you here. I've heard the news about the Aqui Clan's attacks throughout the region. It's terrible what they're doing. Stop them, you must awaken the Katana of Light to its true form. That's why I'm here, as Ryo did many years ago. For that to happen, you must prove to the Shrines of Aisho that you are pure of heart by praying. I've done that, yes. Hmm, it looks like you are not ready. What? Until you have not yet prayed all of the Shrines. In order to fully awaken the Katana of Light, you must go and pray. Only return once you visit the Sushi, Hanatsu, and Izumi Shrines. Have I really not prayed all of them? Maybe I have to go and re-pray all of them? That's kind of unfortunate. I guess we're going to go and do that and we'll cut to when I've done that. Uh, I'm assuming there's not anything that's going to happen at the Shrines. If there's... Oh, is this maybe where we get the Legendaries? Maybe we're going to go and pray and then we're going to see the Legendaries? Is that a shiny... Hi! Okay, um... Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, first we're gonna quick pull the shiny Baker Peck because shiny claws is enabled. Um, we can catch shinies. Really wasn't expecting that one. Um, nice. Nice. What do we call a shiny picket peck? I wasn't prepared for this. To be honest, I wasn't prepared to backtrack. I was ready to go and get my katana upgraded. Um, uh, I, I, what do we call a picky peck? Pickle. We call it Pickle. It's a perfect name. It's a, such a perfect name. Is it a Pickle? No, it makes me think of the the Devil Joe in Monster Hunter World, but still, it's a Pickle. Shiny aside, um, we're gonna go and cut to once I've gone ahead and prayed all of the shrines again, unless something happens at said shrines. The shrine, right. Um, I'm gonna keep Gyarados in front, but... This is Suchi Shrine. This is the grass type area. Uh, we know that Verizian is tied to this area, but we do have tails in the back. Uh, Poison Psychic should live pretty much anything that Verizian would ever want to possibly do to us. So we can go ahead and lead with Gyarados. I'm assuming nothing's gonna happen, but just in case, we pray. We pray to the shrine. The spirit feels relaxed. Your Pokemon were fully healed. Trying to apply healing charges have been restored. Is that all? Alright, I guess we really are just gonna go ahead and cut to when all of this is done then. I thought something might happen at the shrines. I guess maybe I just didn't pray at one of them. Oh. Oh, I never prayed here. Okay, I guess I never came to this one and prayed, because that was actually a different animation. So maybe I just had to come back here and I went to the other team. First. 
Today is a wild day. <laughs> Today is an actually wild day. This is, what? What? I mean, I'll... I'll... Okay. Alright. Um... Yep, okay. Alright, wait, this is a strange day. This is a very strange day. We have a golden ball fix. Um... Wow. Two shinies in... Gonna be honest, I've, I've... So far, I've been doing this for like eight minutes. It's... These were not far apart. <laughs> okay. Um... Do we go with the classic? Do we go with the classic? Just call you Mozilla. It's unoriginal, but also it's what all of my Volpix are called. I... I don't have another name for them. I just... My brain, it's not awake yet. I'm not prepared to have to start speaking again yet. I'm not back where I need to be. I mean, I think it's time we go ahead and visit the box, honestly. We're gonna go ahead. Don't be shiny, please. I can't handle three. Or I can barely handle two shinies this close together. But, um... Let's go to the box. Let's look at the shinies we just caught, because that's crazy. And let's also go over what a certain egg hatched into, because I don't think I showed that at the start of the episode. So we can go ahead and show that real briefly now. So... First things first. Picky pack. Where are you, bud? We have ourselves this picky pack. Uh, it is shiny. It is a quiet nature, which is pretty bad, actually, unfortunately. It has skill link, which is pretty nice. Uh, with Peck and Growl, because it's level 5, meaning it's not the most useful thing of all time. Um, we have the Flash Fire Vulpix, which actually could be really useful. I mean, we have Torkoal at the moment, but this is a very good Pokemon. Um, Neutral Nature is fine, Flash Fire, great. Confuse Ray, Will Wisp, Extra Sensory, and Flamethrower. Honestly, that moveset is fine, it does its job. You know, we can burn things that are scary, I like that. Um, great Pokemon, absolutely great. We also still have this shiny squad that, so I feel like we need to make a full-on shiny corner right now. I didn't think the shiny rate in this game was super high, so I think this is actually pretty lucky to have free. But, um, yep, they're gonna sit there. But the other Pokemon that we got that hatched from the egg was a Manaphy. And I'm going to be honest, this Pokemon could genuinely be the best Pokemon that we could possibly trade up. Because it has a very similar thing that it can do to Topsy Turvy on this good old Malamar, where instead of, you know, reversing the stat changes of the opponent, we can steal the stat changes of the opponent with Heart Swap on Manaphy, and that could be absolutely crazy. Because they could come in, they could set up like evasion and attack and speed, and we could click Heart Swap and grab them for ourselves. While being decently tanky because we have base 100 in all of our stats, and water typing isn't weak to a whole lot of things. Overall, really good Pokemon. The only reason it's not on my team is because I don't want to train it up from level 1 right now. That is genuinely the only reason it is not replacing a Pokemon on my team. But overall, great Pokemon. For right now though, let's go ahead and fly back to the good old Sensei at the Shrine, get ourselves our upgrade, and start making our way into enemy territory, I guess. Alright, back into the shrine. Hey, hello Carlos, have you visited all the other shrines and prayed at them? Yes, I don't think I've prayed at the fire type one. Hmm, it looks like you're ready. I can tell you've been praying at the shrines. Before I allow you to pass through, I must insist on testing your strength one last time. If you're truly to become the wielder of the katana of light, you must be as strong as Ryo. Okay, I mean, I guess I'm leading with what I'd want to lead with. We lead with the intimidate for whatever might potentially come out. I guess this is fine. Um, I don't know exactly what you're gonna do, to be honest. I mean, do you have a theme? Lycan Rock. That's scary. That's scary. We intimidate it, which is nice. You gonna do anything fun? A truly honorable Kenshi must never forget their teachings. Now answer me this, Carlos. What is the most important moral code of the Kenshi? The code of honor. Yes, I stuck to that for a reason, whereas I would love to go with the code of power. Correct. Carlos, you must never forget that the codes of honor and Bushido are what guide us. Those in the Acme clan have forgotten this message and have lost their way. It is our purpose as righteous Kenshi to bring them to justice. Oh? Attack Rose. See, now I really want to stay in, but I'm also terrified of Stone Edge. Like, there's no way I outspeed, right? Uh, I'm swapping out, I don't care. I know I got the attack boost and that's, that's a bait, that's a bait. I'm not, I don't want to get hit by Stone Edge. Do you even have Stone Edge? I'm just gonna double Intimidate. Rock Climb. 
Could have dragon danced on that dummy's face. Could have absolutely just dragon danced. Rock climb again, we're just gonna click Earthquake, and we're gonna take up Lightning Rock nice and simply. We're not gonna worry about doing anything crazy like setting up. Um, especially if we're gonna potentially get stabbed for us for once, which is nice. Surfetched. I mean, what does a Surfetched possibly do to a Poison Psychic type, right? As far as I'm aware, this thing gets close combat, and I don't think I've ever seen it do anything else. So I'm just gonna click Eerie Spell. Swords Dance, scary. Definitely scary. Eerie Spell doesn't quite take it out, we just have to get one more. Brick Break, that's fine, that's gonna do absolutely diddly squat. 169, nice. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Gorobis. We have a Grass type, I suppose. Uh, if anyone is wondering why it's a video today rather than a live stream, it's because the UK is having like a mini heat wave, and I'm gonna be honest, I can deal with recording at like 3, 4 in the morning when it's cooled down a little bit, but at the moment I am not gonna be able to stream, okay? I'm half asleep right now, and this is just for half an hour, so it's just, it fits better. The stream's just slightly postponed to a different time. Giga Drain doesn't take it out, I actually thought it would. We get crit by the Hydra Pump. I thought Gorobus was, like, pretty frail on the special side, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not that frail. I thought it was, like, base 60 special defense, but to be honest, who remembers the stat distribution of Gorobus? Let's be honest. Mikado. Well, that we can go ahead and hit with a... Honestly, I'm going to hit it with an Earthquake with my Gyarados, just because I don't want to get burned. I could Waterfall, but I don't want to be burned. Being burned would suck. I'm just gonna Earthquake. It should still be enough. It's four times super effective. I could have went into Crypto and did the same thing, but I also... I'm always afraid of the enemy using something like Flame Breath and stuff like that. And then Talon Flame is the last Pokemon. Which... I can just Waterfall against, I guess. I don't really see a reason not to. Uh, we click Waterfall and we're good. Tailwind gets set up. Interesting. I'm gonna be honest, my sensei sucks compared to a lot of things. And then we get burnt anyway, but it's the final Pokemon, so it's not as important. That's okay. Uh, our sensei sucks. That was not very difficult, I'll be honest. That was possibly the most relaxing fight I've had in a while. I'll take it. Excellent, you may even be stronger than Ryo. Excellent work, Carlos. You are truly worthy of wielding the Katana of Light. Go on, pray at the final shrine and seize your destiny. I seize. Uh... I'm about to go to the shrine anyway, I'll heal up just in case. Theoretically, I'm assuming that we're not gonna do anything crazy right now, but we're gonna get our charge back anyway, so why not just save us go to the Pokemon Center once? Bam. The Katana of Light was awakened to its true form. It can banish the darkness and open the hearts of Pokemon. Nice. You can also now banish the Shadow Fog in Nagisa Bay. Nagisa Bay. Oh, words. Well done, Carlos. Seeing you standing there with the Katana of Light in hand, you remind me so much of your father. Now, you must go back to Azo Village, and then banish the Fog in Nagisa Bay. Only then will we be able to reach Yami Island, the home of the Atui Clan. I'll be waiting for you in Nagisa Bay, Carlos. Please, do not keep me waiting. Well, 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 I believe we have entered the final chapter. I would assume this is the final chapter. I mean, our map is pretty much complete at this point, other than that one area, and it's very satisfying to look at. But for right now, I guess we head to the bay. We fly to here. Azo Village. Yep, that's the one. There isn't actually a point on the map for the Yami Dojo or anything like that, because I'm assuming they're, like, hidden in the trees, I guess, is kind of the mindset that they're going with for that, or something. Wait, I can grab whatever that is now. I haven't really done a good job of backtracking and picking up potential goodies. So, what's this? Hyper Beam. Yeah, we're not, we're not using that. We're not using that at all. There's no way. Instead, we are going to go down here. Nagisa Bay, this is where we want to be. Hi. You must use the Katana of Light to banish the fog, blocking the way to Yami Island. Once you do that, I will prepare to meet you there. Alright. Sure. 
I guess we're we're jumping on in. Um, is Nagisa Bay an encounter? I suppose not. Yeah, because we got a starter here. I'm going to count the starter as our encounter. However, if we see it change... Fog is too deep to progress. Use the katana of light to remove the fog. Yes. If we see anything change in the top right, it does become an encounter. Gammy pass. This is, a, this is an encounter. This counts. We're going to put Snorlax in front, body slam, and hopefully, hopefully paralyze. Um, I see Aqui Clan members in the trees up there. I kind of want to go for the grass because we have potential water types that we can take with us. So I want to make it to the grass and then get my encounter in the grass because I feel like that's going to be one, a different Pokemon uh, because I've seen pretty much all of the water encounters now and I would like to be excited by seeing something new rather than just, you know, the 50th Gorbis or Gyarados or Wishy Washy. Uh, so we'll do it this way. That makes sense in my mind. Uh, Mighty Anna, we intimidate each other. That's fine. Yakby Clan never fall. Let's take this. Toxic Spikes. Just Toxic Spikes? If that's all, I can deal with that. I'll even just Dragon Dance, to be honest. I'm not afraid of this Mighty Anna in any potential way. Yawn? I mean, that's annoying, but I'm just gonna Dragon Dance again. Sucker Punch? You fool. You absolute fool. I have berries. We'll use a berry. We have a good amount of them. We have... Uh, we don't have Chesto berries, actually. I guess we're using a Lumberry. Which isn't the dream, but again, we can buy berries whenever we want, so it's not the end of the world. He's gonna Sucker Punch again. I'm just gonna play Waterfall. He didn't Sucker Punch on the one turn it would've mattered. That's unf- you hate to see it. You hate to see it. I've been in those situations on Pokemon Showdown, where, like, me and the enemy against me, we're in, like, a... Alright, this would technically be a potential capture for the Shadow Pokemon thing that we have going, but also it's Dupes Full, so, I mean, we don't catch this one anyway, so we click Waterfall. Please take it out, though. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Shadow Hold can no longer escape. That's fine. Another Waterfall should take it out. Okay, that's not too scary. But yeah, this is what I'm, I mentioned briefly earlier about every potential trainer having Shadow Pokemon. It's really scary, because it means that I have no real super effective moves I can ever hit them with, and that's terrifying. This is bad. I need to alert the boss that a Trespasser is coming. We also pick up a Toxic Orb, which I don't plan on using ever, so that's nice. Uh, but our encounter is going to be... A fro. Okay, okay. Decently bulky, can get like moves like bulk up, um, has circle throw to swap out opponents if they get boosts. I mean, overall, decent Pokemon. Don't know if we're ever going to get to use it as such. Because um, our team is pretty, pretty set in stone right now, but a decent Pokemon regardless. Uh, what do we hit you with? Ice Fang. And hope for a freeze is my mindset at the moment. Um, it has inner focus, so we can't intimidate it. That's unfortunate. Endure. Well, I wish I attacked, but either way, we're just gonna click Ice Fang. Endure again. At least we know that it can't take it out. Ice Fang. Give me the freeze. Make it easy to catch. Critical hit. I mean, it took it to red health. That's that's decent. We'll just throw ourselves an Ultra Ball. I don't actually have that many Poke Balls. Which maybe isn't bad. I'm kind of fine with not having many Pokeballs because it won't tempt me to stay in. Like, for example, that Lucario encounter. I have not forgotten about the Lucario encounter, okay? I could have got wrecked by that if I'd kept throwing Pokeballs. Having less Pokeballs means I'm less likely to do something stupid and lose a Pokemon, so mm, it's okay with me. Um, I'm calling you Circles. I'm, I'm, I did, I missed the S. It's just called Circle. It makes it look like I'm calling it fat and that's kind of rude. I feel bad, but either way, <laughs> too late now. Um, what could I have got in Shaking Grass, though? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take the XP. Well, I'll take the XP. I mean, it's not an encounter or anything like that, but also, just give me the XP, please. I wanna see how much it actually equals at this point. Level 47 Blissey, like 7k with a Lucky Egg, I think is what I was getting before. Not that I really need levels, I feel pretty okay with my levels right now, but let's continue. You there, and shall not take another step forward. You're going nowhere. 
But what shadow Pokemon do you have? I'm allowed one shadow Pokemon capture, and if you send out something good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yoink it away from you. A Garchomp? Oh, okay, that's not... <laughs> I thought that might be it. I thought, I really did think that. I'm gonna set up at least one Dragon Bounce. We all, we Aqui Clan coat all our Kunai with Deadly Poison. Here, I'll give you a Pokemon a taste. Venom Kunai. Well, we're getting poisoned. Um, I don't think I have speed, so I'm gonna Dragon Dance once. Yeah, I'm gonna Dragon Dance once. Dragon Claw shouldn't do anything. That's fine. This Intimidate strategy is working nicely. We are poisoned. Um, do we go for two? I'm actually going to use this turn to heal the poison with a Petra Berry. Because I know there's a Pokemon coming out second that I'm going to potentially want. It makes my decision making a little bit different. Okay, now we've used our Citrus Berry, we can Ice Fang. We miss Ice Fang. That sucks. I'm going to actually heal rather than risk any kind of crit shenanigans on a miss again. We're not playing that game. Bite? Please, bite again. We're gonna click Ice Fang. And they're gonna send out what? Absol. I'm just clicking Waterfall. It is a Shadow Absol. It is. That's nice and all. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Not worth my time. Not worth my time. It's not worth potentially losing a Pokemon for. It's, it's not worth purifying. It's gonna be so frail. I don't need frail Pokemon on my team right now. We just continue on. I should have put a Lumbarer or a back on my Gyarados. My Gyarados is kind of carrying me. I won't let you get past me. You know, outsiders are allowed in Yami Island. But, but I want to go and see the sights. I want to go on my field trip. You can't stop me. Tomorrow I sent out Corviknight. See, if that was a shiny Pokemon, I would catch it in a heartbeat. I love this bird. It is beautiful. Thankfully, it's not like mirror armor or anything like that. Let's make this battle interesting, shall we? Uh, spikes, anything else? Just spikes, huh? Just spikes. Well, I don't see what it hits me with, so I'm gonna just click Dragon Dance again. I know this is getting pretty repetitive, but hey, if it works, it works. Brave Bird at minus one doesn't do too much, but that's with an Intimidate. I'm just gonna click Waterfall. Oh, I didn't do as much damage as I thought, but we get the flinch and we can go for another one. Okay, Gyarados, now you're just showing off. Now this Gyarados is just showing off. We hit level 65, which is nice. About to send in Weavile. Um, yeah, we can stay in. A normal Weavile. Doesn't get freeze dry or anything like that. We click Waterfall. Probably frail enough that we one-shot it. That's fine. We really didn't one-shot it. Gonna finish it with an Earthquake, gonna set Waterfall PP, because I am getting a little bit low on Waterfall PP. Haha, <laughs> PP, PP is a funny thing to say, PP, PP, PP. Um, I haven't had much sleep. <laughs> and Toxtricity. Huh. I'm assuming Shadow Toxtricity. If it's a Shadow Toxtricity, do I care about its typing? Like, do I care about a potential electric type move? I- yeah, probably. Let's not be stupid. Okay, let's just- Let's not do something stupid when we don't need to do something stupid. Let's just go into the Snorlax. We can click Body Slam or whatever. It's fine. Do we catch Toxtricity? To be in the Acme Clan, you have to have as heart as cold as ice. Luckily for me, I also happen to have a Kunai that are as cold as ice. Icicle Kunai. That's really rude of you. And attack grows sharply. Dang it. I am going to be honest, this is the Pokemon that I am going to attempt to capture. Uh, this is going to be our one Shadow Pokemon for Yami Pass. I don't know if there's going to be something better, but I also don't know if there's going to be anything as good. So, overall, I feel like it's worth the attempt. I'm going to heal myself back up to full because we took the spikes damage coming in. Boom burst. Loud, but I mean, it doesn't frighten me as such. Uh, we are frozen, which really, really sucks. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna just a spare berry. Is that the right berry? 
Yeah, okay. It's not very often you have to use these berries. That's such a niche thing. Because getting frozen shouldn't be this common. There's a, it's a 10% chance on most moves for a reason, okay? Generally, the best chance you have of freezing someone is if you, like, hit someone with Serene Grace and an Ice Beam, and that's not a great chance to freeze. But we're just gonna Body Slam. Boom Burst again, that's fine. Its attack got rose sharply, and then it went for special attacks. I'm completely fine with this, by the way. Came to its senses, okay. I'm... What am I doing? What's my plan? We just throw a ball. It is night, although it doesn't look like it in the game, so Dust Ball should be the most effective. Like, it doesn't look like a nighttime background, but I mean, it is half four in the morning for me, so. We catch ourselves a Shadow Toxtricity. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's our Shadow Encounter for Yami Pass. All right. All right. This short-tempered and aggressive Pokemon chugs stagnant water to absorb any toxins it might contain. That's a strange hobby, but you know what? You do you. Wait, did I not get to name it? Oh, no, because it's a Shadow Pokemon. Oh, yeah, okay. Fury, looks like you got the best of me this time. I won't let it happen again. You better not cross my path ever again. Okay. Well... How many more trainers do we have to do? Can I get to a healing place? Because I, I like the feeling of making progress. I'm going to Katana of Light to heal up my team. Never mind. No, I'm not. I apparently don't have any. Um, I really thought I did, though. I thought I recharged that, but I guess not. We are going to heal up the team in that case and push on for at least one more battle. I want to make a tiny bit more progress. We're going to Citrus Berry back on you. And I guess we're going to continue. A Lumberry would probably be better, don't get me wrong. A Lumberry would probably be better, wouldn't it? We'll put a Lumberry on you. Considering it's our lead, it makes more sense, because it's more likely to get stats than anything else. Okay. Well, I mean, we continue. See, now's the downside of um, the situation we have with Shadow Pokémon. Now, I've caught my Shadow Pokémon. Anything they come out, I have to go, oh, look at what I could have caught. That's the one big downside. Even picking and choosing, because all of the trainers are random, you know... What are you gonna do? I won't let you get past me. Yep. Yep. I would say that Toxtricity is better than an Absol because we lack Electric-type coverage. However, now if they send out like an Electivire, I'll just be sad. Grimmsnarl. I'm not afraid of that. I can Dragon Bounce on that all I want. Are you going to stats me? Never fall, let's take this. Toxic Spikes. Not a problem if I just Dragon Bounce. I, if I don't swap out, that that's never an issue. Foul... That became an issue. That became a very large issue very quickly. Um, dark type move, scary for him. Um, Torkoal, 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 get in here. We don't want to play that game. I don't want to play the foul play game. Absolutely not. Dark Pulse. It's pretty hard. It's pretty dang hard. Um, I can set up an Amnesia, but I still have to live that first hit. Maybe it's worth... Ah, Bento Box doesn't... It's not like a Forest Orb. I keep thinking it's like a Forest Orb, but it's not. Um, I'm going to click Amnesia. Foul play, that's fine. Holy, that's not as fine as I thought it was. Okay. Well, we have the special defense increase. Now we can start just healing. This Grim Snarl, very scary. Do not like. Please make him leave. Nasty. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We got a Lava Plume. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta not do that, buddy. You gotta not do that. Can we get the burn? Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. I have to swap. We have to go into Snorlax. I have to swap. The poison's taking too much now. Oh no. Yup, we get poisoned. He's gonna Dark Pulse of a Nasty Plot up. Okay, it, it's not it's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. Um, we can pretty happily go for a body slam. I need to get this thing taken out as quickly as I possibly can. Please take him out. 
Oh, okay. Thank you, Snorlax, for being a high physical attack stat Pokemon. Wants to land Eruption. That would be so powerful if we just weren't so slow, because we're never going to be able to use it. We're never going to be able to use Eruption. We never, we're not going to be fast enough. We're just not. And the poison's going to tick. You're going to send in my child. You're going to send in my child against me? I'm swapping in Tails just to absorb the Toxic Spikes, honestly. You absorb the Toxic Spikes, get those off. I could have had- I could have had a Pika I could have had a Pika Mooka! How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I could have had a Pika Mooka. Could have been mine. I'm I am upset. I'm clicking you on again so it goes to sleep and doesn't mirror code me. Shadow Rave, yeah, okay, buddy, you just it's rude. It's gonna airy spell. It's guaranteed to be asleep this turn. Wow, that doesn't do as much damage as I thought. Um gonna Eerie spell again. Don't, don't, don't wake up in Miracle. Don't do it. Okay, right, that's fine. And we're gonna Eerie spell again and take it out. Well, yep, there's the end out, but that's fine. It was low HP at that point. It's all good. Um, I'm upset that I didn't get the Pukamuku. Would I have used it? No, but I would have liked to have it. Um, all right now, though, before we continue absolutely any further, no, please don't. Whatever you are, I just want to run away, okay? I don't want to deal with this right now. I will slap on a repel immediately after this battle, and I will run all the way back so that I can heal. So, we are going to wrap things up right here for this episode. I feel like we have made some decent progress into the territory. Uh, we've seen some interesting things. Uh, we have ourselves a Shadow Toxtricity that we can go ahead and purify at some point. We still have a Tyranitar that we can purify as well as an option, although I will probably keep the team the same in between episodes. I don't think I have any plans on changing this around just yet. Uh, so, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll look forward to